Well, the first one that we're going to be looking at today, how we use substitution into inequalities. So this is the question. It's a fairly typical one that's been seen in the last few years. Given the coordinates of a point, this one is negative 2, 5. And you have a list of five different inequalities. So we're going to use the features of INSPIRE to decide what's true and what isn't. Over on the calculator page, I've got a first example. This was selection A, and it was Y is less than or equal to X plus 5. The given that symbol is the most important feature here, that vertical line, and you find that by accessing the uh, control equal sign there on the calculator, and it's this option that's here. I'm going to press escape to get out of that because I don't want to enter that. But you can see that by then subbing those points in, you get false. So that, that says that, that uh, option A is not correct. Now, because so much of what we want to do with the other four looks exactly like what we had in the first line, I'm going to just hit the up stroke a couple of times. And by that being highlighted, as you know, when you now press Enter, that's pasted down. And what we need to do now is to grab the second inequality. I'm going to go back to the first page, be a little bit lazy here, and just copy that inequality. You can certainly type it in again, but I'm going to copy that. And go back over to this page. And in place of the first inequality, I'm going to place the second inequality. I don't have to wait for the cursor to be on the far right side. I can just press Enter now, and we'll see if it's true or false. And it's false. And on that goes. Going back to the next one, it's negative 4 is less than y is less than negative 1. And I'm going to put that in manually. So we go from negative 4, and then control equal sign is where you find all those inequality signs. So it's less than y. Once again, the less than sign, control equals gives me the less than sign. And I believe it was negative 1 that we are going to put in there, negative 1. And to get the given that sign, this here. And then once again, x equals negative 2. Hit the space bar, type in the word and, space bar again, and y equals 5. Press Enter, and option C is false. As we go through this, we're getting to something that most of us have seen. It doesn't happen all the time, so please don't quote me on this. But most of the time, with these which require substitution, we often find that it's one of the last few that is the correct one. I'll copy that. Go to 1.2. Whoops, I just made a mistake there. Well, I had actually recopied the, the top line. So I'm going to undo. Always a good thing to know. Control, escape for undoing. I'll go back to that page. Pick that up, recopy it, control copy. Put in the new in equation, press enter, and that one's true. Now at this stage, if you're um, confident about the way that you've entered things in, etc., you wouldn't need to check the fifth one. Um, I'm always in favor of checking all five of them just to make double sure. And this might be something that you come back to when you have that little bit of time at the end of the exam. So we'll just go up here and copy that down first, and then go back, pick up the last inequality, 
which was x on 2 greater than or equal to y over 5. Copy that. Go to that page. Highlight that. And just a reminder before I do the pasting, remember the highlighting is done by holding down the shift key, putting the cursor where you want to start scrolling from left to right or right to left. Usually I, I tend to go from right to left. And um, once your cursor is there, hold down the scroll key and then uh, hit your left arrow key and it keeps space by space, it keeps um, highlighting there. It's much easier to do it as I'm doing it now using the computer software. So we copy that in, press enter, and sure enough, E is false. So that's that activity for substitution into an inequality. Thank you.